Well, good day to you. This is Mary Flower coming to you from a little studio in beautiful Woodstock, New York. And this lesson really is all about a couple of things. One is options that you can have for taking lead solos or jamming in the key of A. Uh, the other thing is something you could do in a group. You can spread these ideas around to four or five people and have all, everybody do different parts. Fingers one and three, and I'm gonna slide up about a fret or two's distance on that second string to the fifth fret. Dropping in my first finger, third fret, first string. So here's a little slide, all right? Try that a few times. Then I'll do the slide again and second string, first string, second string. So, so far we've got two, three, four. I'm gonna add the bass to that in a minute, but let's finish this uh, little phrase here. So it's one, two, three, four. Index finger will come to the third fret of the first string and slide down to the first fret. We're going to put that into the 12 bar form right now. So you'll see how many measures we have of each one, starting with four measures of the one chord or the A. So with your low A in the bass, here we go. Two, three, four. A again. Here comes the D in the bass. about this. We're going to go to a D7 for our four chord. If we move that down a half step and add that note in, that's our D7. But once again, we're going to play just these two notes. So there's our four chord right there. Think about uh, the great jazz player Freddie Green who played these two and three uh, finger chords. They're very simple, but he'd take a little portion of a chord and it's just beautiful and so simple. And the idea here is that we're in, um, like I said, one or two frets uh, of, of the next chord. So here's our A7. Our D7 is a half step lower in pitch. And our E7 coming from this shape, which is just a D7, up a whole step that's a movable chord shape. I call them recycled chords because you know them down here and you can play them up here. This is your consummate blues chord. When you hear people doing this, that's the chord they're going for. So once again, only two fingers of that chord. So here's our A7, here's our D7, here's our E7. So I'm gonna move it like this. Let's take a look at one more place to be, also coming out of this D7 shape. So, we're going to take the finger off the first string, so I'm holding down index finger, second string, eighth fret. Uh, second finger, third string, ninth fret. So here's our D7 shape. I just have taken the finger off the first string. And this one's a little bit more difficult. I call this chord a slant chord because it's slanted with the frets. All right, here's uh, another little simple blues in the key of A. I always like to, to use this, what we call the long A shape. And that means barring four strings at the second fret to get our basic A major chord, reaching up to get the high A on the fifth fret with a pinky. So that allows you to go back and forth between the seventh and the major. And you can also hit one note in between and go, just to give you a little bit of movement. You can even go there go down to the first string open. This is the A in the bass of this chord, which I really like the sound of. A little bit of play by lifting that finger. Back to the A7. Slide. Now to that uh, higher voicing of the E7. 
back to the A7. And guess what? That, that goes nicely as a turnaround, moving it down.